We chose the fast net because it's just like one you can't miss. I've got nothing but, but joy and, 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 and sheer pleasure from sailing the fast net race, rounding that rock. Well, the Rolex fast net race is iconic for all all yachtsmen all around the world. And a lot of people have put a lot of work in over probably two years, if not more, and it's all culminating in, in this year's Fastnet race. It's a challenge. I think we like challenges, we always have. And to do this, particularly the 50th anniversary of this race, makes it even more special. People are definitely excited now. They're excited for the, the challenge ahead. I think the people most excited are the, the Corinthian crews, the ones that see this as their sort of Everest of, of sailing. They seem to be really keen and up for it, so we're pleased with that. You know, if you like sailing, the Rolex Fastnet is a race that everybody would like to compete and, uh, of course, to win is a dream. I wait 40 years to, uh, to win this race, but it was always my dream. First, it was a surprise. And what the surprise was, how it's important for the people uh, around you. You know, how much history has gone before us. Every time this race has run, it has changed the course of offshore sailing in some way, with designers, builders, technology, search and rescue, safety. You know, this race epitomizes the history of offshore sailing and the development and how we continue to develop. And now, we're all part of that history. We're part of an ongoing story. It's the biggest offshore race uh, in the world by, by quite a long way. It takes an incredible amount of organisation from volunteers, race team, competitors. We've got 450 boats. We have 2,800 uh, competitors registered with a few more to come. They're representing 49 countries around the world, which is an amazing stat in itself. What I've heard about this is that it's going to be wet and it's going to be fast and it's going to be windy. There's no doubt we're going out into some breeze. I think, you know, even the, even the conservative forecast is 30 odd knots of breeze. It's going to be wind against tide through the needles. It is going to be a very tough start to the race.
it's a fast and race and uh, it's a win and uh, yeah I was looking for it for for a long time now a few years so I'm uh, really happy to, to to do it with all, uh, all the team yeah our goal was to try to win and uh, we did it Uh, yeah, that was a very intense race uh, from the first second. Uh, going up wind in 30 plus knots in the Solent, avoiding uh, was crazy, incredible. Lots of overtaking, getting out of the of the channel, and then like this like big sea waves, uh, big winds from the fast net to uh, to the silly again. Uh, yeah, we reached like almost 30 or 40 knots uh, several times. Uh, crazy speed, and yeah, that was that was that was great. The boat was just flying. A dream come true. Uh, we never expected it, but uh, it was also like a very tough race, very hard competitions. A legendary group of people. Um, luckily, we have been able to, to stay together for a few years. Sometimes we have been close to it, but never never got there. And it feels really good that we finally got a win in 600 miler. And it's the 50th edition of the Fastnet, so that's super special for us. The Fastnet race has to be is one of the ocean classics. So to uh, to be able to win it, you know, with a such a good team is uh, is great. Super happy, super excited, super proud of the uh, the guys. So yeah, doesn't get much better than this.